For this lesson, we're going to practice preparing for a meeting. I know there are many ways you can use the grammar point today, but we're going to practice this in a workplace situation, just to mix it up. The grammar point we're going to practice this time is called the passive voice, and there are many uses, but we're going to practice it in terms of completing tasks and just being a little more polite. So I like to introduce the passive voice by comparing it to two other kinds of grammar that are often used. So the past simple versus the past perfect versus the passive voice, which is today's grammar point. Did you submit this? This is a plain question and tends to sound a little more aggressive compared with, have you submitted this? I asked you to do this and it's expected, but it sounds a little less aggressive. Has this been submitted? Again, this is an expected action, but it sounds much less aggressive because you is not present. And the main topic is the paper or the project that they want to be submitted. I know this might be a bit of a tricky grammar point. So let's look at some common usages in everyday life. So we use the passive voice to sound more formal with a boss, a teacher, or a senior. So at work or at school or someone who is older than you and you want to show respect. You can ask about tasks using the passive voice and there are a lot of examples using completed or submitted and words like this. A main use of the passive voice is when the subject is less important or it's unknown compared with the object. So maybe you want to emphasize the object more than the subject. And finally, as we mentioned, it does sound less aggressive and less accusing. So there are some more common tenses when we use the passive voice. So today we're going to focus on just these four tenses in terms of using the passive voice, just to get us started. So the first one is simple past. I sent the materials yesterday. And the passive form of this, the materials were sent yesterday. So the object of the first sentence, the materials, is now the beginning of the sentence in the passive voice. In present perfect, we have sent the materials. The passive voice is the materials have been sent. So perhaps we are not very important. What is important are the materials. So they start the passive sentence. Present continuous, we are reviewing the materials. The passive version, the materials are being reviewed. So maybe again, we aren't as important as the materials. In simple future, I will send the materials shortly. The materials will be sent shortly. In this case, perhaps we aren't sure who will send the materials, but they will be sent shortly. Now to make the passive voice from a basic sentence, we use the following, a subject, a be verb, and a past participle. So the subject, the report, was submitted last week. So the be verb is was, the past participle is submitted. In this case, with passive voice grammar, we tend to have a lot of different agreement. So to get us started, I want you to remember to follow the subject. So in our first sentence, he sent some emails. So he, the subject, sent, verb, some emails, the object. But when some emails becomes the subject, the next word, the be verb, has to agree with the emails and not he. So to practice, let's first begin with comparing past simple and past perfect. 
Now, this is usually used when completing tasks. So if you're at work or at school and you have something to finish and you need to use either past simple or past perfect. Now, remember the difference between these two is the past simple, I sent him an email last week, has a specific time associated with it. But the past perfect, I have sent him an email means sometime in the past, but I completed the email sending. I sent the email, it is finished, and there wasn't a specific time. So to start with some examples, let's use the past simple and past perfect, just to look at some examples. I've finalized the materials, and here in bold, the materials is going to be the subject of the passive sentence. So everything in bold will be the subject. He has confirmed the time with the client. They booked a meeting at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Okay, so converting these into passive sentences, let's practice. I've finalized the materials becomes the materials have been finalized. Note in the first sentence, this is a present perfect, I've finalized. So in our passive sentence, that becomes the materials have been finalized. He has confirmed the time with the client becomes the time has been confirmed with the client. Note the first sentence, it is again, present perfect, has confirmed becomes has been confirmed. They booked a meeting at 8 a.m. tomorrow. A meeting was booked at 8 a.m. tomorrow. Again, this is past simple because there is a time associated with it. So they booked a meeting at 8 a.m. tomorrow becomes a meeting was booked at 8 a.m. tomorrow and not necessarily present perfect. Okay, so now let's practice present continuous versus future simple. So the present continuous, we're finalizing the materials now, is a current action that is happening right now as we speak. Future simple, we'll send them when they are finished, you are making a promise. So this is the common use of present continuous and future simple. So before we practice our present continuous and future simple, let's review one more agreement, which is be verbs with ing. So this is with present continuous. We are reviewing the materials. The materials are being reviewed. So here, when it's a present continuous with ing, the ing needs to match the be verb in the passive sentence instead of the regular verb reviewed. So reviewing needs to change to being reviewed. So make sure you always follow your be verbs with ing when using present continuous only. Okay, so now let's do some practice of present continuous and future simple. We are considering your proposal. We will encourage comments when we send the draft. We will develop a strategy after the meeting. Again, everything that will be the subject of the passive form is bold. So your proposal, comments, the draft, a strategy. These will be our subjects when we turn these into passive form. Okay, now the passive forms of these sentences. We are considering your proposal. Your proposal is being considered. So remember that in a present continuous, the be verb takes the ing. So considering becomes being considered. We will encourage comments when we send the draft. So when this becomes passive, Perhaps we is, we are not as important. So this can become comments will be encouraged when the draft is sent. So the draft hasn't been sent yet, but when it has been sent, comments will be encouraged. 
So that's a future promise. We will develop a strategy after the meeting becomes a strategy will be developed after the meeting. Maybe we won't develop it, but some people will develop it and we're not sure who, we're not sure who. So a strategy will be developed after the meeting by someone. Okay. One more agreement review before we practice. So this agreement is object versus subject pronouns. So in the first sentence, someone asked her to attend. Her is the object of the sentence. But when this becomes passive, we have to make this pronoun into the subject pronoun, which is she. She was asked to attend. So in the first sentence, someone asked her to attend. That's the object. She was asked to attend is now the subject. So we have to change that. And let's practice. Okay, so let's imagine a situation in an office when a boss is speaking with an assistant. They're preparing for a meeting tomorrow. So in this conversation, let's practice changing A1 and A2 into passive forms and changing B1 and B2 into either past simple or present perfect. So we'll practice two things in this conversation. Take a moment, press pause, and change the first two A's into passive and choose either past simple or present perfect for B. Okay, let's make sure we have the right answers. Have the materials been sent out for tomorrow's meeting? So here, this is a completed action. The boss is asking the assistant if the assistant sent the materials to the client. But it sounds less aggressive and less accusing. The boss doesn't use the word you. And all the boss wants to know is if the action has been completed. Yes, I sent them this afternoon. So here, sent is correct because there's a time frame this afternoon. Great, thanks. And has the invite been accepted? So this is a situation where we don't know who accepted the invite, who has not accepted the invite. So the question is, has the invite been accepted? Yes, all attendees have accepted. In this case, not anyone in particular and not a certain time frame, but all attendees have accepted. It's been completed. So let's read this through. Have the materials been sent out for tomorrow's meeting? Yes, I sent them this afternoon. Great, thanks. And has the invite been accepted? Yes, all attendees have accepted. Excellent. I think we're all ready for tomorrow. Let's practice one more conversation. And we're going to use all of the tenses that we practiced in this lesson while we make the passive voice. So notice that the bolded words, us, materials, Julie, her, will be the subjects of our passive sentences on the next page. So let's read these through and understand how to transform them into passive sentences. Yesterday, someone invited us to attend a meeting with Google. Sounds good. Are there any materials we should read? Yes, someone will share materials by tomorrow. Has someone told Julie? Yes, someone is informing her as we speak. Let's make these passive and a little less aggressive. Okay, so here are our passive forms of the previous page. Preparing for a team meeting. Yesterday, we were invited to attend a meeting with Google. In this case, we don't know or it's not important who invited us, but we were invited by Google, the company, which is pretty cool. Sounds good. Are there any materials we should read? Yes, materials will be shared by tomorrow morning. In this case, again, not sure 
who will share the materials, but materials will be shared and that is what is important. Has Julie been told? We don't know who would tell Julie, but Julie is an important person in the meeting and it's important that she be told. So let's just ask, has Julie been told? Yes, she is being informed as we speak. So someone on the team is informing Julie about the meeting with Google, but we're not sure who or it's not important for the speaker to know. So let's read this through. Yesterday, we were invited to attend a meeting with Google. Sounds good. Are there any materials we should read? Yes, materials will be shared by tomorrow morning. Has Julie been told? Yes, she is being informed as we speak. Spectacular job. I hope you feel a little bit more comfortable with passive voice. In this case, it's very useful in the workplace to sound more professional, more polite, and it's easy to use when you're trying not to blame anyone. So if you're trying to emphasize on the object rather than the subject. Well done, and I'll see you in the next lesson.